And Bisley closes that window quick. Oh, Aaron passed to Martin. Uh, come a uh, double look that time. 5.17 left to go here in the fourth quarter. And the score is 67-57. Biddeford leads over the Thornton alumni. These are players, again, that have graduated uh, between two, after 2000, so 2001 to 2013. This is the uh, 21st century alumni game. And they also had a can drive, too. Uh, once again, Barassa hits a three. And uh, really a nice performance by Barassa as he uh, now has 20 points in the game. And that one was by Blake, I believe. I think that was Blake. Yeah, for three. Shaw tries the three, and he swishes one in. Shaw's had 22 points now. 70 to 63 with four and a half minutes left. Pretty good offense in this game, I'll tell you. Start up over to Muhammad. They play some perimeter basketball. And they see Muhammad uh, travels. Guys, got to be getting tired at this point. 70 to 63, but if it leaves with 4.10 left to go in quarter four. You got to start somewhere. This is the first annual one, so I'm sure the second one will be even bigger. I don't know how we can get too much better, though. Quality of the uh, players, the way they're playing in this. Uh, We've seen some pretty good basketball from guys that uh, looks like some of the guys have been away for a while in this game. And, uh, and uh, still seen some good competitive basketball from both both sides. Barassa now splits the defense, gets it back to Bobby Cody. Up and in, Cody is high. He's played sparingly here and there, but he's got 16 points. He's been able to find the mark. In Biddeford basketball, they live and die by the three. Blake. And Shaw with the rebound. Oh, they had inside, they got Mayo. And then Sean Mayo up and rims it out. No good. Dustin Tardiff with the rebound back to Barassa. He'll slow things up with three minutes left in this fourth quarter and the Tigers have a 10 point lead now, 73 to 63. We'll do some quick adding as the uh, tripping and uh, no call there. And it'll be Thornton's ball. Tardiff comes out, Muhammad comes in. Winnie hands it over to Mayo. Well, looking to make a move here as Dupree uh, can't get it to go and reaching over the top, it will be Benefit's ball. Could have called Mayo for a foul, but uh, <laughs> as Barasso slowly comes up court, no need to rush. They got a 10 point lead with 225 left to go here in quarter number four. And this isn't a high school game. They're not going to really be stalling for the most part. They'll, they'll be taking some shots. They try to get it to Muhammad. And then Dupree steals it now. And now Shaw pushes it up for it. A no look pass to Blake. They feed uh, Mayo down low, up off the glass. No good again. As a battle by Mayo. He finally gets it. Mayo finally gets it to go as he hands the ball to Barasso. 11 points in the game for Mayo. As, uh, we're down to a minute 35 left. Work, 
Another violation on Biddeford. And uh, 73 65, it's an eight point game. Eight point lead for the uh, Tigers. It's not over yet because uh, Thornton's got some shooters there, and there's one of them, the Shaw, but he can't get it to go as he was forced to fire a quick one, uh, try to get something on the board. Brass is going to hold it. And foul on uh, Blake. Uh, now we're checking now and they, they're going to foul. They want to get the ball back, so they will be fouling Barassa. As, uh, they will foul till there's so many team fouls that they will go to the line, and once again they foul. And that will put Barassa finally, that's seven. So uh, Barassa goes to the line with 115 left in quarter four, and Tigers up by eight, 73 65. It's one guy you want at the line, and uh, Bidford was smart. They just kept throwing the ball to Barassa. He's probably going to be the best uh, chance they have. He's actually the only one that's been to the foul line the whole evening. As Bidford uh, one and one. And he makes the first. So we'll, uh, we'll get another one. And he sinks them both. So Barrasso now is uh, 22 points for Phil Barrasso. Uh, 20 down and uh, no good. And Nick LeBlanc. Benefit will hold it down. They've got a 10 point lead. They've got Abdi Muhammad. Reverse layup. And seven points now for Muhammad. Again, we'll get the handshakes at the end. We'll try to wrap something up here, whatever we got. Mayo with the uh, follow away shot. No good. Rewinded by Thornton. No good. And Benefit will. Uh, get the rebound and that should seal the deal for Tigers there. It looks like they'll get a sweep tonight. And that's pretty much down to 25 seconds as uh, they're going to let the time run out for us or they're just going to hold it. As uh, they're going to get the shot down. Shaw will dunk it and put the closing uh, touches on it. And, uh, and that will do it in the 21st century uh, basketball game where Benefit wins this one 77-67. Uh, Unofficially, Benefit for an academy had eight points for Corey Martin, two for uh, Jason Dubry, five for Dan Winnie, 13 for Justin Blake, uh, three for Burchill. Uh, Mike Burchill, Sean Mayo at 11, 24 for Andrew Shaw. There were six for eight on officially from the line. Benefit had seven for Abdi Muhammad, 16 for Bobby Cody, three for uh, uh, Kyle Fecto, six for uh, six for Justin Tardiff, and 22 for Phil Barassa, 11 for Brett Barrett Belanger, six for Jeff Saucier, eight for Andrew Burnell, six for eight also from the line. So Biddeford wins the first game, 20th century game, 61-57, and they win the 21st century game by a score of 77-67. Want to thank Justin Tardiff, head coach for Biddeford. My uh, videographer, uh, Jeff Scott. My name's Andy Poria. Last time from the final score from game two of our, our uh, Benefit game was the Biddeford uh, alumni 21st century team, 77, Thornton Academy, 67. So long, everyone.